Namaste everyone, this is Simon. I'm here in Rishikesh, India, Sattva Yoga Academy. We just released a beautiful chant, Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu, last week. And I want to show you some harmonium chords so you can chant at home, chant in your classes or wherever it takes you with the harmonium. I'm gonna skip the harmonium basics, but even if you're a beginner uh, in playing, I will show you a way how to how to play the chant in a very very simple way. So it's gonna sound like this. It's four chords. It's three chords really. Loka samasta sukino bhavanto. All right, we have one chord. We have the second chord, and back to the first chord, and the last chord. So, chords are what we call when we put several notes, several tones on top of each other. And you can add notes, like even two fingers is a chord. So I could also play it like this with two fingers. Luca Samasta Alright, I'm gonna explain both of these ways to you now. So, first, let's try the normal way, the more advanced technique with three, three notes in a chord. We're gonna play G sharp. Okay, this is our first chord. Our second chord is C sharp. And there's different ways of playing these chords. I'm now going to show you a chord progression, a way of playing this chord progression, um, whilst moving as little as possible. So you want to move your fingers as little as possible, so you don't have any breaks like, oh, I'm changing the chord. Let me r put my fingers up and have a break and not playing music. So we're moving from G sharp to C sharp like this. We're playing C sharp like this. And we're moving back and playing the last chord, it's a D sharp. And we're playing the D sharp like this. Now, the more simple, easy technique would be playing it with two fingers. So we're just going to leave one of the fingers out, find an easy way to move our fingers. And this way, um, even if you've never played, you will be able to do this chant. So all you need to do is you need to remember how the black keys look, how the white keys look. And you see there's a pattern. There's always two black keys, three black keys, two blackies so that way you can orient um, yourself on the on the keyboard and we're gonna start with finding the one black key in the middle of the three black keys and then this this is the C um, so and the C is just below the two black keys so like this we're gonna play the first chord G sharp then we move our right finger up this is the C sharp, coming back to the first chord, great, and now we're moving to the last chord, this is our last chord, this is the way we play D sharp with two fingers, so two fingers, Loka. right finger up, Samasta, right finger down, Sukino, now move both want to want to do the transition as smoothly as possible so when you're moving from here to here you might like go with one finger first because this one is this one is free so you have 
have room here to already go. So you're coming from here and you slowly like, oh, all right, you can see you move this finger slowly and you're doing oh, you're slowly transitioning over to the last chord. And then you start from the top. Luca. be happy and free may you share this chant with whoever needs it and see you out there namaste <laughs>